Good morning students. This is Math Session, 11th Standard, Chapter 1, Sets, Relations and Functions. In this, we are going to see constants and variables, intervals and neighborhoods. Already, we are learned the definitions of constants and variables in algebra. Constants mean fixed value. Variables means it takes various values. A quantity that remains unaltered throughout a mathematical process is called a constant. That is, one process is changed, one value is changed, that is called constant. For example, x equal to 5, x value is 5. That is called as the constant. A quantity that varies in a mathematical process is called a variable. That is, number x plus y equal to 6 abdina but 2 plus 4 nalu 6 avaru 1 plus 5 nalu 6 avaru so at the time x um y oda values la change aagite irukum so that is called as the variable variables are classified into two types first one is dependent variable next one is independent variable let us see some examples area of a rectangle is represented as capital letter A is equal to length into breadth. Here, length and breadth are the independent variables. Based on this length and breadth only, the area value we will get. So, here A is the dependent variable. Similarly, volume of a cuboid is represented as capital letter B. This formula is length into breadth into height. Here, this length, breadth and height are the independent variable. Based on these three values, its volume depends. So, this V is called the dependent variable. So, for these two examples, dependent variables are this A and V. Independent variables are length, breadth and height. That is L, B and H. Intervals means, or in the number L number sign now on the intervals in Solonga. Let us see the definition of the intervals. A subset I of R. R represents the real number. Real numbers kula or subset I in Edithopna is said to be an interval. If interval solala abdina, if I contain at least two elements. So render numbers kedel or kumsonola and the two elements irkun kandipaila. The second one is. A comma B belongs to I and between these two numbers we will get have another number that is C. Between this A and C that is A less than C less than B. That is C is the element must be lies between A and B. Then C belongs to I. That is A B matto I la irukkun erutthiruppoom. Apana adu kedai la irukkura element C in or element erutthiruppoom na adu hoon yengga dha arukkunnoom na I la dha arukkunnoom. Geometrically, intervals correspond to rays. Rays means both ends its distance and line segments on the real line. Let us see this. This is the number line. Here, between this 1 and 2, we will have the root 2 value. What is the root 2 value? Yes, 1.414. That value is lies between 1 and 2. These are called the intervals. Okay, between this 1 and 2, we will have the root 2 value. Similarly, for this 2 and 3, we will have this value, E value. E is the very small quantity. That value is approximately equal to 2.8 something. Okay. So, this E value is lies between this 2 and 3. And 5 means 3.14. That value is lies between 3 then to infinity. We may say like that also. Next, we are going to see types of intervals. Intervals are classified into two types. First one is open interval. Next one is closed interval. Open interval means we are not include that two numbers. We have to consider only the numbers lies between that only. Closed interval means you have to consider that numbers also. That is from that first number to the last number. Now we are going to consider the interval in a line. For that open interval, you should not include that number. 
so we are not able to represent the line without that particular point so for that we are going to consider the empty circle for that closed interval you have to consider the filled circle that is given here it is not possible to draw a line if a point is removed isn't it or not line means it is a collection of points we are not able to represent a line without a point so we use on unfilled circle that is like o to indicate that point is removed that is the point which is removed is represented as just this o in the line and use a filled circle that is like this to indicate the point is included now we are going to see interval and notation then in set format and diagrammatic representation intervals are based on the numbers which are known is called the finite if you are not known that n points mean we have to consider that as the infinity so that interval is called as infinite interval let us see the notations first one is open interval of a comma b open interval means you have to use the open parenthesis okay it is in the set format x such that a less than x less than b that is here this a point and b point are not included between all that points are considered as x see this diagrammatic representation here we are not having this a point and b point so you have to mention that as the empty circle okay between this all points are called the open interval of a and b the next one is closed interval of a comma b set notation is x such that a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b that is a ingra point to irukum b ingra point to irukum adukku edaila irukra ella points ume irukum so in the diagrammatic representation la a ingra point ayum b ingra point ayum shade pannirukonu shade pannala appadina and the point illa nu artham i will able to understand this this is open interval of a and closed interval of b so apna a ingra point irukadu so you should not mention that as less than or equal to simply less than but b point is the included point so i have to take that as the less than or equal to b so a irukadu ingranaala inga empty circle represent pannirukanga b irukungranaala shaded circle vandu use pannirukanga like that next one is closed interval a and open interval b so a is included that is a is less than or equal to x here open interval b ingranaala veru less than b nu potrukanga so diagrammatic representation la a ingra point irukungranaala and shade panni mention pannirukanga inge vandu open interval ingranaala empty circle represent pannirukanga have you able to understand this finite sets exams la uh, write that uh, interval finite interval notations with the set representation and diagrammatic representation mattum kuda kepanga exams la so how to just know this okay next one is infinite infinite means any one of the number must be infinity infinity means we are not known that so and adathula namma vandu filled circle um use panna kudadu empty circle um use panna kudadu here open interval of a comma infinity means we are known that starting point but we are not known the ending point so you have to mark that as the arrow mark okay it indicates the ray like the closed interval a for this infinity that is for always in, uh, mark the infinity as the open interval because we are not known that point so eppa la infinity varudho anga la vandu open parenthesis da potrukonu curved bracket da potrukonu square bracket indicate panna koodadu okay similarly this at minus infinity means this side left hand side you have to take that here also minus infinity b as the closed interval so we are represent that as the shaded part here both minus infinity to infinity means in between all the points is considered okay that is x such that minus infinity less than x less than infinity that is represented as all the real numbers that is given as set of real numbers neighborhood neighborhood means or point consider pannona adoda left hand side layum right hand side layum pakkathla pakkathla irukra points da enna nu solvaanga neighborhood points nu solvaanga 
let us see the definition neighborhood of a point a is any open interval containing a in particular this simple is called not belongs to here this is called epsilon if is a positive number is usually very small it is very small quantity then the epsilon that is neighborhood of a is the open interval a minus epsilon comma a plus epsilon let us see the diagram diagram pathina ungalku puriyum see this is the one number line how to consider this point as the a point in the point la nu or smallest quantity minus pannom appadina that is a minus epsilon so adu da in the side irukku left hand side la irukirathu idoda or smallest quantity add pannom na a plus epsilon so in the a nu irukna idukku லெஃப்ட் சைட்லயும் ரைட் சைட்லயும் பக்கத்துல இருக்கிற பாயிண்ட்ஸ் தான் என்னன்னு சொல்லுவாங்கன்னா நெய்பர்ஹுட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் சொல்லுவாங்க நவ் ஹவ் யூ ஆல் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் நெய்பர்ஹுட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே இட் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் இன் த ஓப்பன் இன்டர்வல் இஃப் யூ ஆர் நாட் கன்சிடர் திஸ் பாயிண்ட் வித் அவுட் ஏ மீன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் அஸ் த செட் ஓப்பன் இன்டர்வல் ஆஃப் ஏ மைனஸ் எப்சலான் கமா ஏ பிளஸ் எப்சலான் திஸ் மைனஸ் த செட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஏ that is in the open interval la in the bracket potirukanga in the open interval la s sub id minus appadina and the point illama s sub t a means in the a ingra point thavara meedi irukra ella points um apdi irundaduna is called deleted neighborhood of a a in the nama delete a ingra point ah delete pannitom appadina that is called the deleted neighborhood okay see this diagram idhe maari da arrow marks ponnu அந்த டெலிட்டட் பாயிண்ட மட்டும் நெம்டி சர்க்கிள்ல ரெப்ரசன்ட் பண்ணணும் தேங்க்யூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்